are so many exhibitors. I think there's a nice mix of public and private sector. We had a lot of new uh, consultants and product developers that have been able to come today, so it's been very exciting. We were talking about breaking down the silos that happen as we look to the deployment and the implementation of connected automated vehicles. I'm excited, so excited to see the opportunities that we have with, with taking the driver out from behind the wheel because that's where most of the error occurs. The, uh, this program has amazing opportunity to do that, but they have to be aware that there are some big downsides. It's not going to be easy. And we're seeing a lot of states and local communities really adopting the technologies that have been tried and true for a long time. We had Governor Rick Snyder, the governor of the state of Michigan, there, and he talked about you know, the vision, the, the, the fact that it's collaborative, and, and you have to pull all of these folks together. ITS is a fabulous place, and, and the ITS World Congress is probably the place where people of this industry come together to collaborate and, and network with all of your colleagues across the globe. I hope that people take away from the World Congress in general uh, this idea that, you know, again, we, we're here to save lives and make people's lives better. And I think the opening ceremony set a wonderful tone. Uh, and I just really hope as people are going to the exhibit hall and being in the presentations and some of the great events that we have, that they're always looking at this through the lens of how can these solutions, how can these companies, how can these uh, partners help me save lives and make people's lives better.